For much of the past two millennia, the commonly held belief was that disease, deformities, and other ailments were caused by some sort of toxic exposure of some noxious and dirty stuff infiltrating our bodies and making us sick. The ancient Romans had a name for it. They called it miasma, which meant bad air. They believed miasma emanated from the ground or from the breath of snakes and other poisonous animals. If we were exposed to too much of it, we might get a skin disease or bubonic plague. Maybe we'd get leprosy or crooked teeth. So human sickness was spread through these huge clouds of poisonous air. This miasma theory stuck around until around the late 1700s when a Dutch drape shop owner named Antony van Leeuwenhoek began collecting glass lenses in a metal tube, constructing the first super powerful microscope. Leeuwenhoek intended to use this device to inspect the thread he was selling in his shop. But after a while, he got curious and began inspecting other stuff, skin, sperm, wood pulp, insects, and rainwater. He noticed something extraordinary. Festering within substances were these little organisms. He called them little animals or animalcules. Leeuwenhoek determined that yes, our bodies were being infiltrated by toxins and these substances were making us sick, perhaps even deforming us. But it wasn't miasma, it was these little evil animalcules. They would later get a different name, we would call them germs. So germ paranoia quickly spread throughout Europe and people began covering their mouths and their bodies and their windows, anything to keep these little beasts away. But no matter how well populations cleaned themselves, no matter how many face masks they wore, people kept getting sick. And even stranger, whole populations started getting sick with new diseases nobody had ever seen before that few had even heard of. 